Hey there, Gemini. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of May 1st. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what comes up for you. Uh, money right off the bat, which I definitely like to see. Uh, I would say uh, pressure as well. Um, well. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, feeling pressured. Uh, but let's see here. You start with the Eight of Diamonds. Very good card for money. Even represents more money coming in the future. Future promotions. Future positions. Uh, even if you're retired. You know, seeing better returns on your investments in the future. Uh, you know, this doesn't represent money today. But it does represent uh, money coming in, like I said, in the future. Also very good for you to... Very good for work. Very good. It says that... You know, exactly what you put into work is exactly what you're going to get back. So it's better for returns on your time. Uh, and with this card, I would say you could even just feel, maybe on a kind of more uh, like intuitive sense, feel that your time is being used in a better way or that you are using your time in a better way. Um, and definitely very energetic. I mean, I would say Mars is in your sign um, right now at this time and it will be until you know basically the full first week of may um, and and then you know it'll be leaving but um you know very good time for being very energetic and uh having a lot of uh energy um and uh feeling you know feeling very energetic as well uh right now and um i should say mars i, I think i just said mars will leave your sign in the first week but it won't it'll be there the the, the full month of may basically um, so again, feeling very energetic this month. Very good for working out as well. Next, you have the Three of Clubs, Second Chances, uh, seeing things coming back around for you at this time. Uh, one of my favorite cards in the deck. It gives you a second chance, but it's not a second, it's not like a second chance like we typically think of second chances. You know, whenever I pull this card, people always ask me, you know, does that mean my boyfriend's coming back or does it mean my girlfriend or my wife is coming back? And I'm always like, well, no, it's not that type of second chance. It's like, you know, second chances in, you know, if you feel like you lost a, a very solid relationship that could have turned into something, you know, some sort of commitment, this is you feeling like you're getting a second chance at a commitment. So it'd be somebody else or something new, something different. I always say with threes, you know, pick what is new, pick what is different. Threes are all about picking something new. So, um, you know, this represents a second chance in, in that type of sense as in something new or feeling like it's a second chance. Could even be a second chance with money as well. Second chance with jobs and, and things like that. Very good card. Next, you have the King of Clubs, card of authority. I would say that, I mean, you're probably dealing with authority this year just in general anyway. Um, and uh, probably because, you know, Saturn is opposite uh, Gemini right now, basically. Really, I mean, if you wanted to get, uh, you know, super technical here, it's opposite the last deacon of Gemini at this time. Um, and, uh, all, well, basically all year. And, you know, so dealing with authority, having to deal with authority, and again, feeling pressure. Uh, you have the Ten of Spades next. Uh, Ten of Spades to me represents Saturn and can represent that feeling of, um, like, restriction, feeling like you are being kind of challenged in a lot of ways, and also feeling like there is there are restrictions on um, kind of like doing what you want to do and, and feeling like you can't break out of that in a lot of ways. Um, I would say that, uh, really the King of Clubs is saying that the universe is doing this to you too. You know, if you are, if you are one of those people who is feeling that restriction, um, I, I think that the universe is doing that to kind of make you an authority, to push you to a whole new level. Um, and I think that you should also kind of face your challenges head on with this card. That's what the, uh, the king of clubs would do uh, in a lot of ways. I think you have a lot of other stuff in your chart as well that's backing you up to these restrictions. Again, ten of spades. Ten of spades is a card of restriction, feeling restricted. It, this is your only like you know negative card that you have this week. Your only challenging card, really. Um, so in a lot of ways, I think things are going well. But again, I, I still think maybe on a certain level that you are you, you feel that restriction of not being able to really truly kind of sit in in what you want and and that's definitely what the ten of spades represents ten of spades is a card of disappointments challenges you know sickness illness all, all all sorts of things um but it's definitely a card of transformation it represents transformation in the future i always say it's kind of like the death card in the tarot you know with maybe some more challenges attached um so uh, definitely having to deal with that. But you have the Six of Spades, momentum and incremental improvements. I would say that, again, with Saturn, 
<clears throat> it is kind of like a time of incremental uh, improvements uh, in, in a lot of ways. I mean, I think that also this is the type of stuff, and, and this is nothing intuitive either. I, I, I just think, you know, just Saturn-wise, it's one of those maybe years where it's like maybe you do something like start a business, and then it go, it goes really well, and then it stops going really well, you know, all of a sudden. And it's like you have to push through that kind of in-between period. Same thing with relationships. Maybe they start off going really well, and then they stop going really well. And it's about learning and, and figuring out how to uh, move past those things. But this card represents improvements, seeing improvements in all those areas, but probably through your own actions, probably through things that you have done to create those improvements. And at the end here, you have the Queen of Diamonds, some sort of harvest, some sort of harvest coming in for you, uh, reaping some sort of reward this week for hard work that you've already done this year. Um, you know, I, I mean, I can't believe it. We're, we're almost halfway through the year. That's pretty, pretty crazy to think about that we're already here. But, um, so I think that <clears throat> you're kind of getting a reward for all this hard work you've been putting in already. But, uh, looks like a good week. Um, so thank you for watching and enjoy.